Today we're going to take a look at using the Bone Tool in Adobe Flash CS4 to create very simple animations like this. The Bone Tool is great to save you time. So let's get started. I've already created here in Adobe Flash a simple character, very simple character, but it's very important here to note that I have created each one of the features on its own layer. For example, right leg is on its own layer, right arm, body, head, left arm, and left leg are all on their own layer. In fact, if I had all the other layers except for the right leg, you can see that that's the only one up there. If I bring all the other ones back and hide the right leg, you can see it's missing. So. I hope you get the idea there. That's very important. Now we're going to go ahead and animate the right leg first. So what I need to do is lock all the other layers except for the right leg. This will make sure that I'm not working on a layer that I don't want to be working on. You need to select the right leg and then you can grab your bone tool. Now when you are pulling out your bone tool you want to think about the actual bone structure of what you're trying to animate. So um, I'm thinking about the femur the lower part of the leg and then the bones in the foot to create this animation. Now you want to go out to a certain number of frames. We're just going to do a second worth of animation there and right click on there and insert a pose. And now it's very important that you just insert a pose that's exactly the same as the, the pose you start off with. And here I'm extending out the body and head frames because they're not going to move. That's just so I can see what's going on. Now I'm going to go to the middle of my armature layer and I'm going to pull the bone, pull my object back a little bit and this is going to be the midpoint of my animation and since I'm doing a little running sequence here I want it to be about there midway through then in between the mid frame and the first frame I'm going to bend the, the bone so it looks like it's uh, in the middle of my running sequence there and see how that looks and let's take a look at what that looks like so far okay not not too bad maybe we should put another pose in there about frame 20 and so I'll just click on my armature layer and then I'm just gonna try to pull this guy so it looks a little bit natural and one of the drawbacks to the bone tool you can see that little black area right there it's totally not perfect um, some people are big fans of the bone tool others are not and this is what we've got so far with the right leg looks alright so let's move on to another part of our character and we'll lock the layers that we created we'll do the right arm next so I'll click on the right arm layer make sure it's selected grab the bone tool think about the bones that happen in the arm and pull out my bone tool at each joint and there we go now we'll go back into the timeline we'll right click and insert a pose. We don't want to move it. Now in the middle of that sequence we'll right click again and we'll go ahead and pull pull the arm to the midpoint of that sequence which will be the opposite of where it is now. That looks pretty good. We can take a look at what that looks like. Now you can see there's some overlapping going on there that's because our order is not completely correct so we can change that we'll go down here to the timeline and we'll select the right leg and the armature that's associated with the right leg and we'll just pull it behind the right arm and the armature that's associated with the right arm we'll see if that fixed it and there we go now our right arm is in, on top of our right leg Close that down and we'll go to our next object. Now, like I said, we're not going to mess with the body and the head, so we'll go ahead and go to the left arm. And we're going to make sure that the left arm is selected. And again, if it's not selected, you can use the black arrow to highlight everything. There's our black arrow. It's completely selected, but we can't see it because of the head and the body. So it might be a good idea for us to hide these things. So we'll just click and hide those objects. Now we can see our arm so we can put the bone on it. So we'll go ahead and pull it down. Again, thinking about the bone structure that happens inside of the arm and the hand. We'll right click on frame 25, insert a pose. And then we'll go back to the midpoint again, just like we've done with the previous sequences. 
and we're just going to pull the arm into position. Just like that. And we can bring back our other layers and do a quick little export to see what this looks like. And that looks pretty good so far. Oh, character looks like he's starting to run. One legged at the moment. So let's go ahead and do the left leg all the way down at the bottom of our layer order. Again, we'll need to hide the other layers so we can see what's going on. There we go. Now we can again put the bone tool on there. Again, thinking about the bone structure that happens inside of the leg. There we go. Now again, we'll insert the pose on frame 25. And we're going to just keep it the same and then go to the midpoint of our little sequence. And we'll pull the foot and leg to the midpoint. And again, we might insert a couple more little frames there, but first of all, let's just check and see what we've got here. And that sequence actually looks pretty good. I think I'll stick with it. The bone tool does take a little bit of practice, but it will save you a lot of time um, once you get the hang of it. So this has been a tutorial on the bone tool in Flash CS4. Uh, thank you for joining us here on the virtualinstructor.com.